Kevin McCullough. Welcome back. Kevin McCullough, always glad to have you with us. Uh, we've got a lot that we're going to still cover on uh, today's broadcast, but I want to spend just a few more minutes with uh, Gloria Garces of Nonagon uh, Enterprises and all that she does. It's uh, a Nonagon is a nine-sided uh, uh, geometrical shape. I didn't know <laughs> this. I'm not smart enough to know this. She told me that, but she she inter interacts in nine different areas of industry and life, and that's uh, what is the basis for her uh, corporation and what she does and why she does it. Uh, Gloria, we were talking about your recent visit to Israel, and I feel like it's important for particularly American leaders to go and to do what you've done. Uh, Governor Huckabee told me just a few weeks ago he did the same thing. Um, and I think it's important for us to continue to do that and continue to tell the story here. And I'm curious, knowing your interest in public policy and you're not neutral when it comes to the elections, you you are pro-American, you advocate for people that are uh, insanely pro-American, you want to make sure that America does what we should do uh, on the world stage as well. I'm curious as to, with what you saw, how you're measuring what you're hearing from the presidential candidates uh, as we are now in the full, you know, fledged th throes of another election cycle. Uh, what what are you hearing from them? Uh, are they saying enough about Israel? Is there more that needs to be done? What's your advice to those that are running for office this year? Well, I think more than ever, it's become evident that the United States support of Israel is imperative, not only for Israel, but for the United States and for the, the West in general. You know, before you, you did your last, at the end of your last segment, you were talking about that word, the West, and many people, you listen to the West and they don't understand that there's a certain region in the world where they see us different. Not only do they see us differently, but, you know, in any of the groups that are backed by Iran, you know, we are the big Satan and Israel is the little Satan. And I think it is important that our leaders understand that if the West, I mean, I'm sorry, if Israel goes, the West goes. Hmm. You know, Israel is that first line of defense and that it's extremely important for us and for the United States to continue supporting Israel. You know, I know that it is less and less popular to support Israel, particularly because of what we're seeing in social media. You know, the, the anti-Israel sentiment is growing by the second. So I applaud those of you, including you, Kevin, who are courageous enough to tell the truth and to not continue repeating lots of, you know, slogans and, and lies and half-truths that are just steering people in the wrong direction, in many ways, very anti-American direction. Um, so I think it is important that our leaders understand that it is time that we not only continue providing Israel the aid that it needs, but give, give Israel the freedom to make those tough decisions they need to do and to finish the job for all of us. You know, it's a very difficult situation. What we're seeing right now, it's something that it's extremely complex. And I was actually in Israel for five days at the uh, INSS, which is the International, uh, the Institute of National Security Studies, the University of Tel Aviv, listening and talking, having personal dialogues with the experts, the people that are advising the government right now, and just hearing what's happening. And I think that, you know, Israel likes to say, you know, we can do this, we will win. Yes, but you know what? They need the support of the United States. We need it more than anything. And I think if us in the United States understand that by supporting Israel, we're truly supporting ourselves. If we if we just kind of flip the switch on that and we understand that by helping Israel, we are helping our own way of life, our own way of living and supporting uh, the United States and the security of the United States, I think everything would be different. So I really hope that our elected officials don't start dancing the dance of, oh, you know, it's a popular with our constituency that we're pro-Israel, is it not? And are we going to give our backs to Israel because of what it's popular to do? I think we need to see the bigger picture. What is the safest thing for the United States that is to support Israel? Well, that's well said. And I think that the values of the West... Uh, which have typically been uh, different than those that have been subjected to um, socialism, communism, uh, the progressive, regressive uh, thoughts of what we often refer to as the left. Um, I, I think that by contrast, 
we we have to we have to continue to live those values out. Gloria Garces, appreciate you so much. Thank you for being with us, and we are going to have you back soon. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Kevin, for this opportunity and again for the work you do. And I keep on saying it, Kevin has one of the best voices out there. So... <laughs> <laughs> All right, coming back from Times Square. Don't go anywhere. We're just having a little fun here on that Kevin show. Stick around for more of that Kevin next. That Kevin show with Kevin McCullough.